The National Motor Museum at Bewley is home to a Rolls-Royce with one of the last remaining car mascots known as the Whisper. Four of the mascots were ever cast and only two have survived. Our reporter Shan Robbins went along to find out who was the real-life inspiration behind the iconic model. Also referred to as the Whisperer, the Whisper mascot was especially commissioned for the 1909 Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost of the second Baron Montague, John Scott Montague. Speculation is that the model behind the mascot was Eleanor Thornton, his close personal secretary. This was originally sculpted by Sir Charles Sykes and often you see with the mascot she has her finger to her lips because it is believed there was a secret affair so she's basically saying don't tell anybody. Um, she was unfortunately travelling with the second Baron Montague on the SS Persia during the First World War on their way to India. The boat was torpedoed off Crete and sadly she perished but the second Baron Montague survived and he in fact spent three days in a lifeboat. What helped him survive was that he was actually wearing a special kind of waistcoat and he even had a five pound note tucked in the pocket which even survived to this day. So on the life raft I believe there were um, about 30, 30 passengers who tried to get onto this life raft and eventually it ended up with only 11 and of course the boat kept capsizing and they had to then spend time in the water and had to keep turning the boat. But very sadly Eleanor Thornton did not survive. Eleanor is believed to also be the model behind a later mascot, the Spirit of Ecstasy, that appears on many later Rolls Royces. It's quite interesting with mascots because Mr Rolls and Mr Royce were very close friends with John Scott Montague. Uh, they were sort of very much sort of in the elite set. And unfortunately, on a lot of the Rolls Royces, inappropriate mascots were actually appearing, such as a cat or a policeman. And of course, this did not give the desired um, effect. And in fact, on the 1909 Rolls Royce Silver Ghost, the mascot didn't appear until two years later in 1911, which again was the spirit of ecstasy. So for a time, there were a lot of very inappropriate mascots appearing. That for a Rolls Royce that has the tag, the best car in the world, uh, when you consider the 1909 Silver Ghost, um, 40 to 50 horsepower, seven and a half litre engine, you are talking about obviously a very, very fast, valuable car. And the whole look about it meant that um, it was the best car in the world. This is Shan Robbins for That's Solent.